I'm here in Lytham St Anne's with Tony Cooper. He's the second of our selected riders for Britain's Best Rides in association with Baldwin Bikes and Halfords. And tomorrow I'm going to be taking on his ride in the fantastic Yorkshire Dales. It starts in Hawes, it takes in Wensley Dale, Swale Dale, Leyburn and some big climbs, some fantastic views and I'm assured some really, really stunning descents. So Tony, tell me about your ride. I think it's a ride for all seasons really, um, Rob, and um, all abilities, from your racing man to your tourist, because there's a lot of history, there's waterfalls, there's a cheese factory, there's rivers, there's absolutely fantastic views. The Yorkshire Dales is obviously an area that attracts a lot of people, so what are the roads like? They're relatively quiet, especially when you hit the tops. There's quite a lot, quite a lot of tourists around, obviously, because it's a national park. Um, and there is a couple of main road sections, which is hard to escape in the Dales. But depending on the time of day, you, you're probably going to be all right. So you've been doing this ride for, for a number of years, you tell me. You, you, you discovered it when you were, when you were a young rider. I, I did, yeah. In my, in my teens, I used to ride out from Lancaster with the clubs, you know. And, um, and, and just look for climbs and places that we hadn't been before. The Yorkshire Dales basically was a, a playground. So what's the highlight of this ride? The highlight actually is when you climb out of Askrig. It's a, a steep gritty climb which levels out to the top. You need quite a low gear because it is a bit, of a, a bit of a killer actually. The descent into Swaledale is, is quite something. It starts off with hairpin bends at the top and you run a long level with Swaledale, so you've just got big views across Swaledale and down to the river all the way across. It's hard not to stop, even when you're flying, you know. I'd imagine I will stop, um, <laughs> particularly if I've just done quite a, quite a tough climb. It sounds like a nice start to the ride, or well, maybe I should do it the other way around. I think that'd be easier. <laughs> Obviously very important to cyclists, um, places to stop, places to get food. You've already mentioned cheese. I'm looking forward to trying some uh, Wensley Dale in Hawes. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you did that, and not me. Um, what else? What else can I look out for? You go through the Green Dragon Inn, a great pub, and then especially one of the highlights is um, Castle Bolton, looking over Wensleydale. Well, that sounds fantastic. Look forward to trying it. I'm outside the Dales Countryside Museum and National Park Centre in Hawes in North Yorkshire and I'm just about to set off on Tony Cooper's entry into Britain's best rides. As you can imagine, this ride is going to take in some of the best British countryside there is, the Yorkshire Dales. We're going to take in Wensleydale, Swaledale, the town of Askrig, which was home to James Herriot, the famous vet author. Tony has promised me some very tough climbs. We're going to take in part of next year's Tour de France route. But the reward for those climbs, I'm told, are some absolutely stunning descents, some beautiful scenery, and hopefully, towards the end of the ride, some very nice white cheese. As you can see, it's an absolutely stunning, stunning summer's day. Luckily, the ride is stunning. We're about seven miles in now. After leaving Hawes, there was a climb straight away. That was more road. It was short, sharp, very punchy. Got the lungs going pretty early on. Then, a nice smooth ride down to Askrig, the home of James Herriot, the famous vet. After Askrig, it's the biggest climb of the day, and we're just standing a bit with that behind us now. That's Flow Edge. Starts off very, very, very steep, straight into the granny gears, and you're gonna stay in those pretty much all the way up, because it's quite long and draggy, and you'll have to avoid quite a few errant sheep. And just behind me, you probably can't see it, but it's Seema Lake, the biggest lake in the Yorkshire Dales. So Tony wasn't lying about the views. They are absolutely stunning up here on top of the Dales. He didn't really mention the wind. It is very blowy. Um, it's okay if it's behind you. If it's into you, it's gonna be a struggle. I've just climbed up from Grinton. That's probably gonna be the second toughest climb on this route. It's also going to be in the Tour de France next year. I don't imagine Cav's going to enjoy it. Before Grinton though, just after the first climb of the day, we had a pretty much six mile descent. It was absolutely stunning. Some lovely corners, some incredible views. The road was a bit sketchy in places, quite a lot of gravel. So if you are riding it, do take care. We know this climb though is going to be resurfaced in time for the Tour de France, so that should be absolutely lovely by the time they finish with it. 
So from here we're heading down into Laban, we're going over the shooting ranges, I can see the red flags flying, so that's going to add a frisson of excitement to the next couple of miles. So I've just finished Tony's ride, come back into Hawes, ridden over the Roubaix-like cobbles for a victorious final lap of the town. Before coming back here to the museum where we started today, I think it's safe to say it is one of Britain's best rides. I've also got to ride part of next year's Tour de France route. That's gonna be a lot of fun. My reward for my 42 miles, a nice bit of local Wensleydale. Cracking. We're looking for Britain's best rides. If you think you've got one that can beat mine, send us your videos of no more than 60 seconds or photos with supporting words to a maximum of 200 to tell us why yours is a winner. If we think yours is one of the best, then we'll put it to the public vote. The winner will get a Boardman Performance bike courtesy of Halfords. Not only that, every month, three lucky winners will get prizes from Halfords too.